We're at the shop today, we're gonna go and get our yellow Thai salt and curry ingredient. Yes. <laughs> Ready Jacob, you know what is in there? Yeah. So we need to get chili, but I chili. Chili. So the first thing is but eye chili or Thai chili and it's got to be this small. You can't use Indian ch chili because they don't taste the same. So the next thing is shallot or small onion or red onion. If you don't have shallot in your area you could use like big red onion like this one. That, that should be fine as well as an alternative. We'll put it in there. And then, what next, Jacob? Garlic. Can't do Thai curry without garlic. Always. These are quite small garlic though. They won't taste as good as the, the normal Thai garlic, but I mean, you could use any all the garlic that you like, and then turmeric. Excuse me, have you got turmeric? Oh, it's over there. Sorry, sorry, I'm in your way. <laughs> the next thing is turmeric. Very essential. That's what makes different from any other Thai curry, because in the south of Thailand, you tend to use a lot more turmeric for some reason and that is the main main key now the galanga in traditional way of curry I wouldn't use the galanga but I personally love the galanga in my curry so I'm gonna get that as well so here we go galanga then we can just pick any vegetable of your choice to put in a curry today I'm gonna be using pea you want pea in there what you think we should use I reckon we, I reckon we should use the cauliflower or all the thing else No, we can't put watermelon in the curry, Jacob. It tastes funny. I'm just gonna get the cauliflower in my curry today. In it go, Jacob. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. Here for everything. Uh, yes, please, please. Just get a small bag. So our protein today, we're going to be using fish, which is kind of traditional. Oh, look at this. Very, very traditional. God, look so good. Wow. I reckon today we're going to be using the baby trevally. I can't even say it, but yeah, that was we're going to be using today. Hello everybody, welcome back to our kitchen again and today I'm going to be cooking yellow curry It's a salt and Thai um, curry dish which is called Gang Som or Gang Luang People from the south would call it Gang Som and people from somewhere else would call it Gang Luang which is 
I don't know, it's a bit confusing with names sometimes in Thai food. So, um, I'm gonna show you the ingredient of the curry. We're gonna make it from scratch, by the way, it's not from jar. And then your choice of protein, which today we're gonna be using fish and then your vegetable. I'm gonna go with the cauliflower today and then the seasoning you just need lamb and tamarind, tamarind puree so um, it's the taste of it is kind of like spicy and sour but it's not exactly like some people would say it's a bit like tom yum but I it, it far off anyway but similar but far off you know what I mean I hope you know what, you, what I mean. Anyway, I'll show you the curry first. So the first ingredient is chili, pine chili or bird eye chili. And then the next ingredient is garlic. And then shallots or red onion. You can use big red onion as traditional ingredient. Oh, the one in the middle I know it looks a bit scary but it's not cool. It's just um, shrimp head. Shrimp head is like it, it go in nearly every single Thai curry. And then today I make it a bit special so I'm gonna put the galangai. I just like the taste but you can skip off to the traditional way without the galanga. Okay, so I'm gonna put all this in the blender and then blend it until it's really fine. Right, let's get started. So yeah, we're just gonna put everything in there. Try to put, try to cut everything into smaller pieces so it's easily blended. Blended.
then we finished. So here we go guys, our yellow Thai curry, which is an uncommon Thai dish, not many people have heard of. It's a southern Thai dish and hope you enjoy and enjoy your experiment with Thai cooking. Freshly cooked jasmine rice. We're gonna have that with the curry. Freshly cooked by Jasmine Rice. 